Before we get into this lesson, I want you to fill in the blanks. I'll give you the first and last letter of a word. Complete this word while I fluff up my curls. Did you say hair? Just as I sat down to talk to you, a loud truck pulled up right outside my window. Did you say here this time? This is called priming. When you're exposed to a stimulus, a word, a color, a picture, it influences how you respond. Present positive primers to your customers and you increase the chance of them accepting your word as final. One of my clients is a water utility. In this county, when a person moves and leaves an outstanding balance, the debt stays with the meter. When someone else moves into that house, they discover they have to pay the past due bill before they can turn their water on, and they're mad. The agent could say, the debt is attached to the meter. Regardless who accrued the debt, ABC Utility won't turn on water until the bill is paid. But this approach will get pushback and it's going to be difficult to manage. Here's a good priming example. As a solution, I have two suggestions. First, you need to talk to your landlord. Tell them that there's a debt on the meter and that you can't turn on water. See if they'll work with you to work something out. The second option, and I do this immediately, is look carefully at your lease to see if any clause protects you in this situation. The priming words here are solution, suggestions, you need to talk to your landlord, second option, immediately, and protects you. Your customers are more likely to back down and pursue options when they are primed. I have a worksheet that walks you through preparing prime words for your specific situations. Before you go to the next video, grab the Priming Psychology Worksheet and start writing your priming words. When you're ready, I'll see you in the next video.